Hey everyone, welcome back to Rigi RCNA class. I am Nick Xia. Today we will learn static routing principle. In last course, we talked about the routing function. Routing is the process of selecting a path for the traffic. In this topology, if this PC needs a forward packet out of this network, it must pass through the gateway. Okay, so a route map is needed to send a date from SW1 to SW2. We can configure the gateway IP address, use the SVI interface IP address. So here, after the date received by SW1, a route map is also needed to forward to SW2. So here we need to configure a static route use this format IP route, the destination IP address, mask, and uh, next hop. So for SW1, next hop is SW2. Okay. Manually configured route maps are called static routes. When SW2 receives this package and the destination is, for example, this PC, LAN20, SW2, it can just forward to here. Because they are in one network and the route, we call it the direct route, are automatically generated. But when this PC forward reply the packet to SW2. SW2 also need a route map to SW1 again. Then, now we can have a review for SW1 and SW2. They need to write the static route for, for SW1. This is the destination. And for SW2, this is the destination. Okay, this is because SW1 connect this PC directly and also connect the SW2 directly, but it didn't connect to these PCs, so it needed the static routes and the same to SW2. We can use show IP route to check the static routes. The direct routes are generated automatically. Static routes are manually configured. The same to SW2. Oh. SW1 is the gate for this network, and SW2 is the gate for this network. So between them, we need to configure the layer 3 interface, and we need to configure IP address for them. Here is another network. So we have several ways to configure. The first way, we can use trunk ports for interconnection. Then we create a VLAN for this link, then interface VLAN and change the mood to trunk. If we're using this way, both layer 3 and layer 2 can forward on this link. The second way, we can change this link to access mode. Even this is not a recommended, okay? In this way, only layer 3 is okay. Then, using routing ports for interconnection. In this way, this route switch just worked as a router. Here is the layer 3 interface, and we configure IP address. Now we can have a summary. Today we learn static route. So do you remember how to write a static route? The destination, mask, and don't forget the next hop. Then normally the routing is by direction. When you configure one direction, don't forget another direction. I also leave you several exercise here and leave you a practice task for you. Please read 
and answer it. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.